everybody. I'm back here with another video and I want to review Bullet Train. This film just came out last week and I got to see it yesterday with some family and I was really excited about it, really enjoyed it, really want to talk about it and um, here we are. So this is just the first of like two videos I believe I'm trying to post for this week as, as well as cutting up our last podcast and putting snippets of it on the channel and other of our socials. So as always, if you're here, thank you very much for watching this video. Would you mind liking this video and subbing to our YouTube channel for more videos like this, for more discussions, for more theory videos, and for more uh, for, for more content, general podcasts and whatever. We have a lot of good stuff lined up, and I hope you guys are here for the ride. So with that being said, let's talk bullet train. So let me just start off by saying this is going to be a mostly positive review. You know, I... I'm not afraid to shit on movies. I want you to know, like, you might be watching a video and I might be getting into it and you're like, wow, you're being awfully, awfully gracious towards this movie because I really liked it. I mean, there's not much that I didn't like. I have some minor things, but really, all in all, it's a good time. But I don't want to finish with that. I want to lead with, let me give you some positives. If I have any negatives, I'll give it to you. And then is it worth it? That's kind of the scale. Is it worth Is it worth the money? And I, of course, this is all subjective. So you may watch this movie and think it's complete shit. Well, some people might say, man, this movie's the best movie of all time. I don't believe that. But if you do, that's fine as well. So just remember, when you watch anybody's review, whether you're on mine or you're on another channel, it's all subjective. So with that being said, let's get into the positives of Bullet Train. I'm going to put a card up here at the top of the video for my carry retrospective Um I put five awesome things of Carrie 1976. I could probably go longer. And in that video, I talk about cinematography. And I talked about how the cinematography was ahead of its time, even back in 1976. Well, in this movie, the cinematography is 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 the highest you could probably um, you could probably get to, in my opinion. Like, there's some really, really nice, beautiful shots that like wowed me like there's a shot of like the main bad guy and again i'm not gonna go into really like intense spoilers but the bad guy there's like a flashback of um of a guy wearing like a samurai mask and it's kind of like from like ghost of shima and stuff like that. he's wearing like a samurai mask and it's red and he's outside and he's about to kill somebody and there's like a fire in the background and like rain is coming down off his mask and you see each droplet coming down off the mask and dripping onto the ground and i thought that was so good so it shot really well and that's that's the stuff that it's almost like it's telling so when you see scenes like that it's almost like it's telling a story without there being dialogue and that's when you know the cinematography is on point by the way i'm sorry i'm a jackass let's talk about what the movie's about if you guys don't know it's about this guy he's a hired um hired assassin um well he's he's an assassin but he's more of like a guy who just he's he kind of like he steals stuff and he's really good at stealing things and, and getting away from it and, and performing heist. And he's told to go on this bullet train to steal this case. Um, don't know what's in the case. Just say, look, go get it and bring it back. Well, he finds a case. But along with that case, um, he's on a bullet train full of assassins. So he has to find his way out of that. He teams up with some. He kills some. And it's a freaking wild ride. It's so cool. It has a really cool, like... I love Tokyo as a as a as a city. Um, I love I love Tokyo. It's such a beautiful. I would love to go one day. And this movie is like you could tell the writers and the people who made this film love that culture and love Tokyo because they really do a good job of painting a picture. And that's the thing, you don't get to see Tokyo a whole lot because the movie is predominantly on a train, which is really cool. Like so, it's one of those movies where it's almost like a play. It's almost like as if like the movie. Is is it's on it's in the same area, but it just focuses on different characters, and it's kind of, it's really cool because I was kind of expecting, you know, Brad Pitt, you know, he's your he's your uh, main character. You kind of expect him to be at the forefront, and he is. I mean, he is, but it focuses on a lot of characters, you know. And I think that's cool. That it's like it's in the same area, but it's different stories and it's different. And then you know they they have some pretty decent stories, even the more serious parts. And I'm kind of going crazy here. Um, so I'm gonna finish this thought and get back to my, my ranking, my list here, but it's really cool how you got the same setting, but you have these different stories and even like the more serious ones where they don't take themselves too seriously, but it is serious. It worked for me. I mean, for me personally, I was fine with it. Even the serious moments there was like, okay, well, that's kind of weird considering how balls to the wall this movie is. 
it, I was fine with the serious moments. Like, it didn't feel, like, too out of place, you know? So, anyway, I'm kind of jumping ahead. So, cinematography is really good. Uh, the comedy. I really enjoy the comedy in this film. I think the comedy, this is a good mixture to me. Like, this is something Marvel has not done well with in the past, like, I guess five to eight years, maybe even longer to, to some people. You know, I've always been a little bit more. I, all right, so I'm I'm hard on Marvel, right? I'm I'm kind of like I'm 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 a dick when it comes, when it comes to Marvel. I just feel like Marvel is kind of you know they've kind of become stale to me. They are they really try to push that comedic side of storytelling as opposed to telling a good story. They they tend to choose comedy over making a dramatic story. And I and I'm not saying every movie has to be like the Batman 2022. I'm not saying that it has to be like this like future real this absolutely like super realistic story. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is some of these stories I would like more of a dramatic tone to them. And like Marvel has done a not a good job with that because they want to make everything funny and everything okay for kids. And I and I'm I'm all for that. But when you're creating a universe, I feel like when all your movies start feeling kind of the same, you start to get stale. And this movie doesn't really do that. It has comedy, which is hilarious, by the way. It has great comedic timing, but it doesn't go overboard with it. It's not like always in your face. It's not always like, you know, like I got to the point where like, man, I wish this dude would shut the fuck up. All the characters have their own way, their own like type of comedy, and it merges really well. It, like there's these two characters, like these two assassins, and they're they consider themselves brothers, but they're not like they're not like actual brother, but they're brothers. Like they they feel like they have a brotherly relationship. And these two guys are just going off on each other, and it's one of the most hilarious things I've ever seen. And not not one time when they're bickering was it annoying because they were so good off each other. They bounced off each other so well. The comedy just worked magnificently. Like it really wasn't. It, it, they every time they were like bashing each other or making a joke, I thought it was funny and I laughed. And you know, I consider myself. I don't laugh at everything, um, but I consider myself somebody who. Um, you know, who finds comedy in a lot of things. And so when I saw that, I was actually like, okay, well, then yeah, that was funny. And I, I like seeing that. So um, I thought the comedy worked really well. Brad Pitt is freaking hilarious. Um, there's a whole sequence with the toilet that's <laughs> so funny. Um, and it, it just looked, it, re it worked really well. Everybody was really funny in this movie. And then there was the serious characters and they were put in funny situations. And that that's always funny. You know, when you have these characters who are like, they're serious from the jump, but then they get put in these situations that are that are funny. They 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 roll it off of that really really well. So, uh, comedy is really really nice. Uh, the pacing in this movie, I will say, the story was was okay. So in the way of story, it wasn't like something that was groundbreaking, but it wasn't any slow parts. It wasn't it wasn't um, boring. It wasn't like I didn't feel like like it, there was no part of me when I was watching this that I felt like any part of this movie didn't need to happen. It just it, it, it moved right along. The whole time I was entertained, I was entertained by the story. I love the world. Everything looks so cool. It had like this like cool like futuristic kind of vibe to it. And I mean it was just really neat. I really I you know, like I really enjoyed the, the the story to me, even though it's not like hands down some of the best I've ever seen, it was it was it was better because of the pacing. I thought that it was from action scene to action scene. I felt the story, it, it, it flowed really well between the action and the and the comedy, you know. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Uh, you know, the music was fine. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like over the top um, or anything. Like, it's not like a memorable soundtrack. Like, I'll have to um, download it on my phone or anything. But it was it was, it was was pretty decent for for the film. And, and all in all, I thought everybody did a good job. Everybody who was involved, the action scenes were really good. Um, you know, which I'll I'll talk more about that here in a second. Um, but they were pretty good. Uh, like I said, all all the actors and actresses who were in this film it was really cool. It, it, they were just really really good, and they were convincing. You know what I mean? They were convincing characters. They what none of them felt like out of place to me. They all felt really good, and they did a good job portraying the characters. And like I said, Brad Pitt to me, Brad Pitt's a star of the show. But I think everybody like literally, if if Brad Pitt's a star of the show, then everybody else is just like they're they're just right behind him. You know what I mean? So all in all, dude, that that's all my positives. I'm sure I could go on for longer, but that that's what I got for you. So to move on to my my mixed slash negative feelings with this movie, um, because I don't I don't really have a a negative per se, because this is more of a mixed feeling. 
My mixed feeling about this movie is I feel like the action could have been a little better. Um, not that it was bad at all. I thought it was. I thought it was good. It, there were it was definitely some really cool sequences and stuff. But I, I, I felt like I wanted more from some of these scenes. Like I, some of them did try to rely a little bit too much, a little bit more on humor. I wouldn't say too much because I just said the humor didn't really um, bother me. I love the humor in this movie, but I felt like some of the, a lot of the combat sequences were supposed to be more comical, and that's fine. Like I think that's what they were going for. It's not supposed to be like John Wick type. Uh, action sequences, so I could have, I probably should have expected it, but I kind of wanted a little bit more, but, dude, all in all, um, I, I could go on this, go on about this movie for about an hour, because I really enjoyed it, is it worth, is it worth the money, if you, if you're looking for a fun flick to go see on the weekend, or with some family, or um, girlfriend, or your wife, or husband, or whatever, this is the movie to go see, I think you'll really enjoy it, and you'll love what they bring to the table, you'll love the cameos that show up, there's a couple cool cameos I kind of didn't expect, and uh, all, all in all, man, it's, it's a good film. It's really good. And we needed something like this. For me, personally, I haven't really had this much fun at a movie in a long time. And um, I've seen a, quite a bit this year. Quite a bit of movies this year. Um, but uh, this is one of my favorite ones. I, I will say, this is probably my favorite movie of the year. So far, this is a movie of the year for me. I really enjoyed it. And um, I hope you guys do, too. So let me know. Look, if you've already seen it, let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you like this movie? Um, did you like this movie? Do you, would you go see it again? Like I would go see it again. I told I told my my sister who was with me. I said, look, I, I could go see this movie again. Like right now, I enjoyed it that much. Um, do you feel that way? Did you not like it? Were you expecting more? Do you think a sequel will come in the future? Um, you know, let me know down in the comments. And as always, like this video, sub to the channel for more reviews. And yeah, Bullet Train is a good movie, guys. Go check it out. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.